my candles by Victoria Hall came today, and I'm so, so, so excited. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you're probably, like, tired of hearing about it, because I have been tweeting about this since the day I placed the order, which was September 1st. I'm already out of breath, because I'm, like, freaking out. Um, but yeah, I've been tweeting about it, like, I can't wait for it to get here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be here next week. It's gonna be here today. Um, and then all day today, I was, like, freaking out because I was, like, worried I was gonna miss the UPS guy because I had to leave. And then, you guys probably know my, my drama with my neighbors. I don't like having packages left here because I don't trust my neighbors. Um, which is ironic because the UPS guy just left my neighbor's package with me. But I'm a trustworthy person. I'm gonna give her her package when she gets home. Um... But yeah, so I was really, like, freaking out, and I was tweeting about it, like, all day. I was like, I have to leave. What if my UPS guy comes and I miss him and I have to wait an extra day and da da da, da. But he came, and he actually came, like, a few minutes ago, and I was really, really excited. He's a really nice guy. I found out he had 20 cats at home, which is really interesting. Um, and he played with Willie for a little bit, but he's, like, an older, older guy, really cute, um, nice guy. So... I got my stuff in. I was going to open the box on camera, but it was it was all wrapped in, like, bubble wrap, which is great because nothing was broken or anything, no problems. Um, and it was just too loud, so I just I opened everything, and now I'm just going to show you what I got. I'm going to try to do this quick because I have a tendency to ramble. Um, so the first candle that I got is actually a replacement for one that I already have, and it's um, in candy fluffing. It's the Lush Candy Fluff dupe, which I love. I think that's one of my favorite candles from Victoria. This is the one that I have currently. This is the 8-ounce jelly jar, and it's so small now. Um, you're supposed to leave a quarter of an inch of wax at the bottom, unmelted so that it, the glass doesn't shatter. But if you're like, what a waste, like how do you get the scent out? A candle warmer is an awesome thing. Pop it on there. This melts all the way through, and you can still smell the candle. And then once it's gone, I'll just like throw it away. Actually, Blake... Um, gave me this idea. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I was like, what am I going to do with my empty jars once, like, like, I'm done with them? And then he's like, oh, why don't you save them and then use it to melt your, your scent shots in? And I was like, genius, that's a really good idea. Like, I don't know why I didn't think about that, because I don't have an electric tart warmer. I have one of those tea light burners, and I'm out of tea light, so I have to go out and get more tea lights. And I was going to buy a tart warmer, like an electric one, but I was like, um, maybe, like, later on when I have, like, extra cash, but I thought that was a great idea to use this and this, and you're probably like, yeah, duh, but I didn't think about it, so thank you, Blake, for that tip. So for those of you guys who are looking for an inexpensive one, I actually got this one at Michael's. They sell them for five bucks, which is a great price, but the thing about Michael's is every week they set out an ad and usually there's a coupon in there for either 40% off or 50% off, and I use 50% off coupon, so I got this for $2.50, and I have another coupon, actually, so I'm probably going to go and pick up another one, because I think it's great for the price. It works really, really well, and it's inexpensive. So enough about that, and on to my haul. I got a, another candy fluffing candle, but I knew that I loved it so much, so I got a bigger one, and this is her bowl candle. It's 20 ounces of wax. Um... Oh, I love that smell. It's so strong, and I get an awesome scent throw from this candle, this little candle. I can smell it um, down the hall when I'm burning it in my room. But look how much bigger the opening is for this bowl candle. The scent, the scent throw of this is going to be insane because the melt pool is going to burn all the way to the edges. It's, you're just going to have a huge melt pool. And the scent throw of the candy fluffing scent already is really good. And having a big opening like this is just going to be even better. So I suggest if you guys have a scent that you already really like, but you want to maximize the scent throw, check out her bowl candle. This is great. 20 ounces of wax. That's a lot of wax. And then I got a candle. Um, this one's actually for Blake. This is her 8 ounce jelly jar. And we got it in Citrus Moon because this is the one that he said he wanted to try. So I'm going to send, that, send this one to him, so I'm not going to touch the wax like I normally would. I normally would, like, touch it, but even though he probably doesn't care, but I want to send it to him, like, nice and pretty. But it smells smells nice and citrusy. It almost smells a lot like um, Coco Mango to me. I have Coco Mango already, and it smells a lot like this, except a little bit different. It's more complex. It smells like monkey juice, too. Probably. It smells like a cross between monkey juice and Coco Mango. 
smells really nice. I think he'll like that a lot. And then the last actual candle that I got um, is probably my favorite as of right now, but I'm sad because I kind of don't want to burn it because Victoria no longer makes these, which I'm really sad about because it's so cute. You ready? Ready? Well, first I'll show you the name. It's her, her gooey cinnamon buns candle. So cute. It's in a little tart, and look, there's little cinnamon buns. How cute is that? It's so cute. She doesn't make this anymore, because I, I understand, because it's probably really hard to package this, because it's just the, like, the aluminum tins or whatnot, and these are going to get crushed. They don't have a lid, because it's raised. So I don't blame her, but at the same time, it's so cute, and it smells so good. I don't want to burn it, though, because I'm thinking it's going to be, like, a collector's item. <laughs> no, I don't know, but it's really cute. You can definitely smell the cinnamon buns. Like, you can smell, it's really strong on the cinnamon, but not too overly powering, because I'm not a big cinnamon fan, but I love this. And you can smell, like, the doughiness of the bun. And then you can smell the cream cheese frosting. This is an awesome, awesome scent. If you guys, even though she doesn't make it like this anymore, she still has the cinnamon bun scent. And I highly recommend it. If you love cinnamon buns, you should definitely, definitely check out that scent I love it how cute is that it's definitely a work of art like I don't want to eat I don't want to eat this I do want to eat this but I don't want to burn it because I'm sad that it'll go away because it's all wax oh it smells so good I'm afraid that it's it's a really strong candle too I'm afraid that I'm not gonna be able to smell all the other things that I have as well but I'll try my best so the rest of the stuff I got were in scent shots because I wanted to try a bunch of different scents that she has, and a great way to do that is through scent shots. So the first one that I got was Caramel Apple. It won't focus because my webcam... Oh, there you go. Caramel Apple. Right away, you smell apple, and it smells like red apples, not green ones. There's like a distinction. Like Green ones are a little more tart, and red ones are kind of sweeter. It smells like a red apple, and then it's really strong on the apple. I can barely smell the caramel, but I do smell that, like, sweetness in the background. So I can't wait to melt these, because these, like, the scent shots smell different when they're actually melting as opposed to the cold scent. So I'll let you guys know, like, I'll update you on the scents if they're any different, but that one smells really good, caramel apple. If you like apple scents, I definitely would check this one out. And the next one is Vanilla Bean Boysenberry. And a lot of these scents I chose because I haven't really heard too much about them, or most of them, so I wanted to see for myself what they'd be like. Vanilla Bean Boysenberry smells... can definitely smell the boysenberry. I've never smelled, like, a real one, but I've had, like, boysenberry, like, sauce and jam and stuff, so it smells like that. And I smell the vanilla... But it's weird because I kind of smell like a menthol-y, like herbal-y peppermint smell in the background. Can't really put my finger on it. It smells herbal-y, like, I don't know. That's interesting. So I'm really interested to see how that smells burning. But you can definitely smell like the boysenberry or what I assume to be the boysenberry because it smells berry-like. And then you smell the vanilla. It's really nice. It's nice. But I'm curious to see how the that like menthol-y scent kind of develops when I'm actually melting it, so I'm curious about that. Um, the next one that I got was a bit of the bubbly, and this is a lush dupe for snow showers, or champagne snow showers, which I think they actually just shortened the name to snow showers. I have the solid perfume in it, this is the olive branch one, but it fell behind my cabinet and I cannot, cannot reach it, and I probably will never see that solid perfume until I actually move the cabinet my dresser which won't be for a while but I do remember what it smelled like and right off the bat I can't say that it's a dupe for it um again it'll probably be different once it's melting I can kind of see the similarities but like when I first sniff it it smells like men's cologne like right away um but I do smell a little bit of the orange and a little bit of what I would assume to be the champagne -y scent because the actual Lush um, scent, sorry if you can hear my neighbors are vacuuming. Um, the Lush um, snow shower scent is really strong on the orange, and then you get kind of like that that champagne bubbly scent too. And I can see where this one is headed towards that, 
but it's not exact an exact deep of it, in my opinion. But we'll see once I start burning it. It smells nice. It smells like a guy's cologne to me, actually. But it's a nice scent. And the next one is Ray's Hot Cocoa and Marshmallow. And this was named after Ray for OSU because she asked Victoria to make a hot chocolate and marshmallow scent for her. And first... That first sniff, it smells like chocolate, but it smells like spiked hot chocolate. Like, I smell kind of like an alcoholy scent to it. It smells nice, though. It smells warm. I can smell the hot chocolate, and I can smell a little, like, in the background, that, like, sweetness of the marshmallow. Again, I'm really curious to see how this one develops while it's melting. Um, this one is eggnog. And I got this one for Blake, actually. I never would have picked this up myself, but he he loves, it's not going to focus, but he loves eggnog and the, the non-alcoholic one, which is kind of what, he wanted a candle in this, but I was like, well, let's let's see how it smells first, see if you like it. First of all, can you see, her scent shots are really full of, like, scented oil, because it's really shiny, you probably can't tell, but it's like sweating, which is a good thing to me, because I'm like, there's a lot of, like, fragrance in here. It smells really spicy. I smell citrus. I smell the nutmeg. And I smell, like, the creaminess of the eggnog in it, too. I don't know. I've never really had real eggnog, so I don't know what it smells like. But this I can see being a really nice Christmas scent. Because it smells almost like gingerbread, too. So we'll see how he likes that. It's, it's really strong. This is a strong one, for sure. And Victoria sends a free scent shot with every order, and I got chocolate strawberries, which I'm glad she sent because I was actually curious about this, so it smells really good. I kind of want to eat this. It smells like candy. It smells like strawberry and chocolate, and it's a good mix of the two. Um, the strawberry doesn't completely overpower the chocolate, which is nice. I like that. I'm really excited to burn that one. Um, and the next one that I got was Tiffany D, because everybody has been raving about this. And just by the scent description, I knew that I would like it, too. It's Tiffany D, even though it's not focusing. First scent that hits you is the honeydew. Kind of reminds me, I have a, a dewberry candle from Victoria that I hauled before, and it smells really similar to that because it's they're both really strong on the honeydew scent. And then I smell a little bit of vanilla and cotton candy and watermelon. It's a really nice scent. It's really nice. And it's blue. So um, I like that one a lot. You guys were right when you guys said it was a good one. So Tiffany D. And the next one is Fig Lychee. And this one also smells cologne like, and a little herbal too. But I can smell a little bit of the lychee or the lychee, whatever, however you say it. I don't really, I guess that other scent that I smell is the fig. I've never smelled like a fresh fig before, so that's probably what that is. It smells clean, too. It's nice. I'm curious about that one, too. I was expecting it to be more like a fruity scent, but like I said, I smell like, um, kind of herbal and cologne scent in that one too and last but not least is Nutella really excited about this I'm glad that somebody requested this because I love Nutella um if you guys have never had Nutella it's the same thing as um a Ferrero Rocher the creamy filling in the inside that's Nutella it's basically um hazelnut with a little bit of cocoa powder mixed into it and I can smell the chocolate. The chocolate's really strong in this one. But you smell like the nuttiness of the hazelnut too. And a little bit of vanilla. It's nice. I can definitely see how this would smell like Nutella. Although I find that, in my opinion, Nutella is a little stronger on the hazelnut than the cocoa. Because I think, don't quote me on this, but I I believe the story behind Nutella is that it was created like during like wartime, I think, when chocolate was a like a luxury really and it was expensive so they took like hazelnuts and crushed it up and made like basically kind of like a hazelnut butter out of it and they added like cocoa powder to it so you could get like that chocolate fix without having 
a whole bunch of chocolate in it because it was really expensive. So I think, in my opinion, like, real Nutella smells a little more nutty. But this is a really nice combination. I love it. You can smell the chocolate. You can smell, like, the, the nutty hazelnut in it. It's really nice. I can't wait to melt that. And I'm... I should have gotten a strawberry scent shot, like a straight up strawberry scent shot, but I'm glad that Victoria actually sent the chocolate strawberry because I'll probably mix these two. Because my favorite ever crepe is a chocolate, um, not chocolate, is a strawberry Nutella crepe. And I have been craving one of those too for a really long time. If you follow me on Twitter, I've tweeted about that too. I've been craving that forever. So I'll probably mix that, or if not, I'll, I'll hold off on the Nutella and then I'll pick up a strawberry scent shot next time and see how those two go together. But... I'm really excited for this order. Those of you who have ordered from her too, from her sale or whatever, I hope you guys do hauls because that's kind of like my thing right now. I love watching candles by Victoria Halls. Like you have no idea every day. I'll search on YouTube to see if anybody's made a new one and I'll watch it. Like I for sure will watch it if you make a candles by Victoria Hall because they're my favorites right now. So, sorry this was kind of all over the place and kind of rushed, but I was really excited and... I'm really excited to burn these right now. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Or if you guys have any scent suggestions for next time, also let me know. But this is probably going to be my last order for a while just because I should really be saving money. And I do have some of her candles left over still, and these scent shots will last me for a little bit. But I cannot wait for my next order. Probably won't be until, like, after Christmas or something. But we'll see. You never know. So definitely check out Victoria. I'll post um, her link in the side, her YouTube link, her Twitter link, um, everything. Um, and if you guys want reviews on anything further, like once they're melted, once I've melted them, let me know too. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!